the fig leaf has fallen, an unveiled reality of the mulberry. An article in the Washington Post leaves no room for doubt about the fact that officials of the United Arab Emirates were involved in pirating the Qatari official news agency website and publishing statements attributed to His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar. The countries of the embargo have taken action against Qatar on the basis of these fake statements attributed to the Emir. U.S. intelligence sources revealed information indicating that a meeting was held by UAE officials on May 23rd, who took the decision to piracy the next day. The information adds that it is not known whether the UAE did so or entrusted others with the task. In the same newspaper, the UAE ambassador in Washington, Yusuf Lateba, published a comment saying that what was published about the UAE's involvement in the piracy operation was a lie. Intelligence information published by the most famous U.S. newspaper has not been denied or commented on by a U.S. official. Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Hamad, CEO of the Qatari Media Corporation, said in a tweet that the absence of a formal response would undermine the UAE's denial of its involvement in the piracy operation. This is the tweet of Sheikh Abdurrahman. This information provided by the CIA corroborates the findings of the Qatari investigations carried out in cooperation with the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation on the penetration. Here is what the Qatari Attorney General said. The Qatari official position on what the Washington Post published was issued by the government liaison office that expressed Qatar's regret for the involvement of the United Arab Emirates and senior officials in the crime of piracy against the website of Qatar News Agency. Following the publication of information confirming UAE involvement in piracy, UAE Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Anwar Gergash was attacked by angry youths when he arrived in London, where he held a seminar on the Gulf crisis. <laughs> Girgash, an official specialist in the attack on Qatar, was embarrassed by questions from the participants in the seminar and could not defend the position of his country. He just escaped from the charge against his country. Girgash said, And also the Washington Post story today in the morning that we actually hacked uh, the Qataris is also not true. Again, Girgash speaks on behalf of Saudi Arabia, defending the kingdom of involvement in terrorism and forgets his own country, which was also not immune to accusations of involvement in major terrorist attacks, including the attacks of September 11th. Furthermore, recent documents have revealed some charges against Emirati officials involved in money laundering. Again, Girgash said, There is a problem uh, with private funding in the Gulf. I think the difference is the Saudi government realizes that it does have an issue. I apologize for speaking of, you know, for Saudi Arabia on that. The UAE minister apologized for speaking on behalf of Riyadh, an apology that will neither nourish nor satisfy hunger, especially that he had already played the role of Riyadh and spoke on its behalf. The Washington Post is one of the oldest newspapers in the United States and is famous for its investigative reportage and documented information. It was also behind the most famous scandal in U.S. history known as the Watergate Scandal.